In today's Jedi Survivor video, we're going to talk about some of the most unique outfits and weapons you can easily miss out on. I got a lot of requests about some of the looks I've been going with in the past videos, so here they are, plus a few extra secrets on top. Also make sure you drop a like on the video if you find these useful and let's dive right in. Starting things off with the commander outfit, this is one of my favorites and I'm going to show you how to find all the pieces from Jedha as well as all the color palettes on Kobo. You can find the chest piece in a container right here in the Arid Flats region on Jeddah, around the middle area of the planetary map, at the top of this easy to climb platform. The chest with the item will be right in front of this large rock at the end of it. The pants are not too far off, right next to the Arid Flats Meditation Waypoint. You will see the cache containing the item to the left side of it, so you will want to go ahead and grab it right away. Meanwhile, the Commander's shirt is the easiest because you can just buy this outright for a handful of Priorite shards from Doma Dendra back on Kobo. Fortunately, the shirt already comes with its color palettes unlocked, so you only need to worry about the other two pieces. Now, to find these two pieces, both of them can be found in the bog area on Kobo, very close to the hangar rafters waypoint. The first is actually right in front of the meditation point, but you will need the electro dart to close the white force field onto the right side. Once done, you can just climb up, and this unlocks all colors for the commander pants. For the chest colors, you will need to take this big door at the end and then just keep it to the left until you reach the second room with the green force field. Ignore the force field because we'll actually take the climbable walls to the left side instead and all the way until we reach the top area where we see this gap with a second green shield and the wall run platforms. Your aim here is to pass through that as well as run up the wall and aim for another set of jumping walls at the end to reach a different upper platform. From that point on, there's going to be a final set of all running that you'll have to do to reach a final platform with a few B1 droids on it. Once you defeat those, you can just open up the chest and get the commander color scheme for the chest piece. Not going to lie, the red and dark gray options are my favorite here for the whole set and I use these a lot in my playthroughs. The chest piece can work with a lot of other cosmetics too and it gives Cal a more imposing vibe than some of the other options. Moving on to number 2, it's time to talk about a really cool lightsaber that you can find all the components of in a pretty tight area on Kobo. That is going to be the Edgehog and it's a perfect fit if you like more angular, high-tech and menacing looking lightsabers instead of the more royal or Jedi looking ones. You find almost all its components in the water treatment works that you can access via this opening at the center of the southern reach area on Kobo. Once in the underground, you will want to cut through these cables and make your way to the tunnel junction ahead. Going into the right side and taking the second right at the end of it, in this section, you will find a chest that gives you the switch component. From here, make your way back to the left side until the larger well lit section and then jump onto this platform above. At the top of it, you will notice there is a section you can reach the other side by using your air dash, so do that and grab the emitter from the chest in the center of it. From this point on, you can just resume following the main path back, take it through the nearby tunnel, and you will immediately find a third chest with the grip inside of it right before the door that opens up the final area. Once you got that, also open up the door, this is also a shortcut to the outside, but before you make your way out, Pay attention to the right side as there is going to be one final chest here to grab. Now the final component is for the pommel and you actually find this in Rambler's Reach, basically in this container that you have to smash on the platform right above of your ship. You can easily reach this by climbing the tower from the rooftops of the saloon. And this is how the final lightsaber looks like with all the pieces, quite intricate I might say, and a lot more menacing than some of the other options. Plus you can go with a red color scheme, maybe with some black or gold, and you're definitely going to love it. Moving on to number 3, there is one lightsaber alternative to that, and actually this comes after a certain point in the main story. This is Seer's lightsaber and it looks even more awesome. This I believe is after your third visit on Jera after a certain key moment in the main story and you will actually find the treasure containing it right in front of the door leading into the Grand Archive, basically the one right next to your ship. I actually missed this for days at an end even though it was literally in plain sight so don't be like me. This is another very high quality lightsaber and I really like the wraps around the handles as well as the rings at the end of the grips. 
most lightsabers don't have ornaments around the handle, so I always appreciate ones that actually go the extra mile. Plus, it's from your mentor, so it's quite significant. Now moving on to 4, let's talk about another full-on blaster skin called the Skeleton Key, and you can get this rather early on Jetta if you keep an eye out open. This can be found on literally your first visit, I believe, from the starting area called the Monastery Walls. Here you will want to make your way to the right room right here and yeah, try to avoid the scorpion boss that's going to one-shot you. From inside of the room, take it to the exit on the left and follow these collapsed pillars until you reach this blocked entryway. All you have to do here is to just use your force push to open it and go ahead. You can ignore any enemies here and just keep it to the stairs up to the right side. Once you reach the top, this is pretty simple, you just have to make use of this wall run to your right but try to angle it in such a way so that you can jump on top of it. It might take a few tries, but once you do that, there's only one final step, and that is basically to jump on this collapsed path above it, which contains the treasure right at the top. Once you do so, you can just get the skeleton key blaster skin, the entire skin actually, and also go ahead and equip it right away. There aren't many complete blaster skins in treasure chests in this game, unfortunately. So this is quite unique, but it also looks pretty nice, I would say. Goes in really nice with some golden themes over there, but you can choose different colors too. But this brings us to an outfit that works really well with other armors, and that's going to be the Jedi outfit. Its unique pants and the special shirt can make Cal really stand out with some high-end gear. So you'll find this in Pilgrim's Path, also on Jeddah, in the Crypt of Irma. From the waypoint, simply head into the crypt using the entrance to the right side. You might find some stormtroopers here that you have to fight, so either deal with them or ignore them, but whatever you do, just take the stairs up to the upper section. Here, instead of following the main path ahead, just take a look to your right side, as there's gonna be a treasure in this open space that you need to reach using the wall run. So do that, and once you get to the other side, go ahead, open the treasure, and this is going to give you the whole Jedi outfit, as well as all of its color schemes right away. I really like its dark gray scheme again, as you can combine this really well with the Outrider shirt that you can just buy from Dalma Dendra, specifically because this also has a similar color scheme that just fits so well with it. By the way, this is what I also combined with the ponchos that I unlocked from defeating the spawn of Ogdo back on Kobo, so you can make the outfit really stand out. I believe that this works really well, but you can basically fit any other jacket in Jedi Survivor with this and make it look awesome. Now there's one final outfit that I really enjoyed and this brings us back to Kobo. Actually, it's probably one of the first that you can get on your first visit over there. So the chest piece can be found very close to the starting area in the derelict dam. Once you climb up the vines and reach the top of it, you will see a platform below that you can jump onto with some enemies. From this point on, you'll just want to keep it to the left and pass through this tunnel all the way until the end of it. You'll want to make sure it's the end because there's going to be a trapdoor that leads below. So if you drop and then just go through the second tunnel, towards the middle of it, you will find this chest containing the chest piece that you can grab right away from the tactical suit. Meanwhile, the shirt and the pants can both be found in the swindler's wash close to the main gate leading into the jungle on each side of the river. So the pants can be found on the left side of it. In this small cave you can easily access from the main road. You'll have to pass through a gap onto the left side and then just keep it to the ledge onto the left again to grab it from inside of this chest. The shirt on the other hand is on the other side of the river, basically on the road in front of the big gate. So instead of going into the jungle, go back and just follow this road until you reach this wall that you can jump onto the second platform. From here, keep it to the right and you will find the chest with the shirt at the ledge overlooking Rambler's Reach. This is a slightly less bulky alternative of, well, the commander armor, but it also has a cape, looks really awesome, and there's other color schemes that you can eventually unlock by just playing the game and finding them on Kobo. And that's pretty much it with the video, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.